What's up guys, welcome back. We're out here on the water already this morning and uh, we're out here past, a little bit past Anclote. Um, just left the Anclote uh, River boat ramp. We are in the Pasco County area looking for scallops today. Hopefully we're about to get our limit real quick and then we'll take them back to the house and cook them up for you guys. I'm about to put this down so I can get in the water and I'll see you under the water, let's go. All right, boys, y'all ready? Let's get under there. Doug's already in the water, and I think he might have found one. I saw him go down to the bottom. We going in. Nice fatty. Pretty cool. Spiky. He's not happy that I picked him up. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Oh. Right, guys well we just got out I had a full bag so we dumped out our bags we got fresh empty scallop bags and we put them all in our makeshift live well we got them all in there we had about what a gallon and a half nice we got like a gallon and a half so far and uh, I think we only need two and a half more gallons right yeah Good to go. He just jumped back in. I'm about to get my gear on and see if we can find something. We've been doing really well in the shallow part, even though it's still like not the most plentiful time right now. We found quite a few in the shallow water. We did not really find any in the deep water today. So that's where we're at.
guys were out again and uh, Doug got way more than me this time so I did the walk of shame back to the boat and uh, we got one big bag and that's my little bag. See, in the shallow water, some of them seem smaller, right? Yeah. I got a couple uh, freaking big ones like that one right there, I think. There's megalodons. Yeah, that one right there. Is huge. <laughs> so I probably got two and a half, maybe yeah, three. Two and a half. Our limit is two gallons per person, and looks like we have uh, about two and a half gallons. So we got a one person limit, but we were hoping to get two person limit. Didn't happen, but that's okay. It was still fun. We tried our best there. guys we are back at the dock now man I'll tell you what I'm tired that was a lot of work for the less than a two-man limit of scallops but you know what it was still lots of fun um, we're gonna take our share of the scallops home and cook them up for you guys we're gonna get everybody to help us with that probably do a little grilling um, not gonna fry them this time but we might do the skewers that we did last time put some little uh, fruits and vegetables on a skewer with these things and uh, bake them in the oven or grill them up it's gonna be delicious I'll see you guys in the kitchen all right guys we're back at the house and before we go in the kitchen we have to clean all these scallops can't wait first we're gonna show you how we clean the scallops real quick I'm gonna let my wife Alexis do that and uh, then we'll get to cleaning them all up and uh, get to cooking thank you can I have it thank you Ray Ray so a lot of them are already um, cracked a little bit if they're not you can just take like a butter knife in there and just crack them a little bit don't pop it the whole way or you'll rip the meat in half so you're gonna go along the edge and just scrape to get it off and you want to scrape with the grain of the shell because the muscle is attached you can see where it was right there so I did have to get it unattached you want to go with the grain so you get as much meat as possible throw that away and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna scrape all the guts all the way around and then we're gonna try to separate them from that piece of meat attached to the shell. So we're gonna go all the way around. And it looks really slow right now just because I'm showing y'all. Once you do it over and over, you can get pretty fast at it. But that's the meat, that's what's left. So we're gonna go against the grain, or sorry, yeah, same thing again. So we wanna get as much of that meat off the shell as we can. There you go. Yep. I'll do it. All ready for this? We got all the scallops out. We got them cleaned up. They're nice and beautiful. 
We got a little accoutrements and some butter and we're gonna make some simple and delicious items real quick, let's go. All right, so we're gonna be doing half of these little toothpick skewers right here. Those are gonna be delicious. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put on those in a second. And then the other half of the scallops, we're just gonna sear them in the pan with a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna get that pan hot with butter and then I'm gonna make a whole lot more of these. We're gonna put them in this pan right here. We got a greased up pan. We're just using two pieces of onion and two scallops. I'm gonna douse them with honey hot in this pan right here. And that is gonna be delicious and super simple. You don't really wanna go too complicated with the scallops because they just have simple texture, simple taste, and whatever you put on them is kinda of what they're gonna taste like. So you don't wanna put too much seasoning and all you're gonna taste is salt, so. I've had some super salty scallops, unfortunately, that I ordered at a restaurant before, and they just tasted straight up salt. We don't want that. So we're gonna put a little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat on them. So I'm gonna make like 20 more of these and we'll be right back. Sheesh, look at this one, guys. That one is a big fat boy. I think mostly all the scallops we found this year were huge, even though they weren't as plentiful as last year. We found, I think, more last year, but they were smaller. I did find, hopefully I got the footage of this, I found two tiny baby baby boys, like tiny ones. Um, and I hope I got that on camera, but I'm gonna play it on the screen right now if I did. They were so cute, and of course I let them go. I let them go back for next year when we find them in their giant daddies, like the ones we got this year. Um, I'm going again in two days. So we'll see if I get more or um, bigger ones, smaller ones, what's going on out there. We're gonna go to a different spot. So um, see if it's better or worse than the last spot we went to. Everybody was saying the scallops were north of where we were. So we're gonna go like, I think five miles north of there and uh, see if we can get on some more. We're gonna go in heavy with some of this hot honey right here on these skewers and throw them in the oven right now. We got all of our scallops searing in the pan with the butter. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. I think I'm going to season them when they're almost done and then take them out so we can eat them nice and hot and crispy. All right, looks like they're done. We got them nice and crispy on one of them sides. And uh, sometimes you can try to flip them over and get them crispy on both sides. But these are, you know, a smaller type of scallop. They're not your larger ocean scallop so it's a little bit hard to flip each individual one and get them crispy on both sides but i'm happy with just one side crispy just like that one right there in the middle that nice caramelized brown so we're gonna split them up between these two plates real quick while we wait for the ones in the oven that are looking good so far not bad what do you think yummy these go kind of cold though yeah i know they're good though they're good mm -hmm. Good. Skewer better? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then I better try the skewer first. <laughs> she said the skewers are so good, and the uh, ones that were seared in the pan were a little bit cold, but they were alright. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's that honey hot that I put on there. It's delicious. Mmm. Careful. Dang, that is really good. Okay, so definitely the skewers for the win, for sure. But I haven't even tried the, the seared ones yet. I almost like the butter ones better. Yeah, they're good. Maybe. But they're good, though. Like, literally, what I was talking about is... We, I barely put any seasoning on the ones that were in the pan, the seared ones. And they just basically taste like seafood with butter. That's, I mean, that's all it is. And they're delicious. They don't have too much of like a gamey taste or anything like that. And um, super tender. I didn't overcook these, luckily. And I think it turned out great. I would definitely probably put that in some pasta. I'm not a big pasta guy, but I would still put it on like oh, so linguine or something. Oh, yeah. 
back in the day at Olive Garden, I used to get the seafood pasta every time I went. I got so tired of it. So that's why I never make it myself because I, I, I got like burnt out on the seafood pasta. But like something like this is like puts enough extra like sweet heat to it or something different. And the onion, even though it's just straight red onion on there, goes so good. It's so good. She literally demolished her entire plate already. It's so <laughs> I'm still working on mine because <laughs> I'm talking too much. I feel like this is one of the best catch and cooks to date, and that's kind of what I shoot for with all my catch and cooks, trying to make the next one better than the last. But um, this one really did work out, and I'm glad I'm going again soon because I get a chance to either do the skewers a little differently or the same, or we just get to try different stuff. I feel like, honestly, the last few catch and cooks we did were like a lot of work. A whole lot of work to catch and cook whatever we were, you know, the gar or what else did we do? The crabs and now the scallops. Everything has an exoskeleton or a shell or something gotta get past. But also, yeah, please help me. Help me eat this <laughs> here. <laughs> Kenny, you want some? <laughs> Let me give one to her. Did she have that? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. She already got, got one. She got that freebie. Come here, bud. Mmm. Delicioso. What was I saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, anyways, all the catch and cooks recently have been difficult. Like, But also these days we're so used to easy food that um, I guess it makes all this seem difficult. But it is worth it. Uh, I cannot wait to do it again. And I just have to go to work for one day and I'm off the next day and we're going out scalloping again. I am going to make a like how-to, like an in-depth how-to informational how to scallop video so um i think alexis is gonna finish off the rest of my plate honestly i would say we're gonna finish eating but she's gonna finish eating my plate i don't blame her that is delicious um we will see you guys literally in a couple days thank you for watching and uh if you don't mind if you like this video give it a like um subscribe all that good stuff see you guys next time